Today I unpack loads of Lego parcels from eBay. Be sure to stick around until the end, as I'm giving away a few secrets about new projects coming up on the channel. Here we go! This is a totally awesome set for the pirate fans out there. Barracuda Bay was retiring as I came out of my Lego Dark phase, but it didn't get away. I can't wait to start a mock or two from this. There's the scope for a pirate style castle or tower, a pub for the pirates to enjoy a drink, or just a new variant of the famous and classic Barracuda Pirate Ship. Who knows? Next up we return to one of my other favourite themes, Monster Fighters. I am a huge fan of anything Lego and Halloween, and this set is just amazing with the mad scientist and his completely over the top experimental lab. This incomplete set just contains the lab, as I think it may come in handy when combined with another parcel towards the end of the video. And here we have another playful set. From these photos, can you work out what it is? Does this elf make it easier? Yes, it's that Winter Village classic set, Santa's Workshop. Now these brick-built reindeer are a bit hopeless compared to their modern equivalent, but I really do like the main build here, and it may turn into a new house for Santa come the end of the year. Let's see what happens. Next we have the smallest, and I think one of the most rare minifigures that I've ever acquired. Here is Bob Oakley, aka the vampire from the Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion. I have two of these sets that didn't have these minifigures included, so this one will go nicely with the sets, especially since I plan to remake my Scooby-Doo Haunted House at some point. Check it out later on this year. Now in this parcel is a really rare set from the LEGO Studios lineup. This is the Vampire's Crypt set, again another Halloween classic build, including those awesome minifigures. I didn't get the vampire here though, I got Sam Sinister instead. I was thinking about making a large, crypt-like diorama for this autumn, and there's loads of inspiration out there. Check out these ones! Last but not least is a little set I'm absolutely thrilled to find. Now this model is part of the Ninjago range, and whilst I'm not much of a fan, I think it's going to be quite fun to incorporate it with other Ninjago sets, and come up with some interesting results. I think I might have a go at this castle set from Mock Scout maybe do a review. And that's it! Tell me what you think in the comments below. Have you found some epic sets on eBay? What builds would you like to see on my channel next? I'm taking a break for a week or so, but I'll be back with a very special mock just for you. Many thanks for watching.